Oltu Hechin, and welcome to the world that was. Today, I'll be looking at a fragmentary recipe from the Hittites, a population in northwestern Mesopotamia and central Turkey in the early Bronze Age. This is a savory applesauce, in contrast to the sweet applesauce that is common today. As the recipe is based on a few fragmentary ingredients, all we'll have to do is take a few educated guesses. In any case, let's take a look at the world that was. To begin making this applesauce, we, of course, need to start with apples. I'm going to be using some green cooking apples for this, but really any apple that isn't overly sweet or too bitter would work for this. Peel the skin from about three of these before cutting the cores out of them. Then, roughly chop the remaining pieces of apple into smaller chunks, each about as big as a thumb. Remember to keep them all roughly the same size so they'll cook and break down evenly. Then, we need to prepare our pot. Toss three to four tablespoons worth of butter into the pot, not olive oil for a change. Shocking, I know. Put this all over a medium-high heat for a few minutes until the butter starts to melt, like this. Don't let it get too hot or you'll wind up making brown butter, or worse, even let it burn. Brown butter itself is actually quite delicious, but not exactly what we're looking for from here. Next, finely chop a yellow onion. It sounds out of place for applesauce in today's context, but still. Toss your diced onion into your pot with the butter and saute this all for about five minutes or until the onion starts to turn transparent. When your onions turn transparent, it's time to add the apples. Add your chopped and cored apples to the pot along with a small amount of water, about a half cup or up to 120 milliliters worth of water. Try and keep a ratio of two parts apple to one part onion, at least for this recipe. In any case, cover everything with a lid and place it onto a medium high heat for about 15 to 20 minutes. Keep stirring this every few minutes to make sure nothing's sticking to the bottom of the pot and burning. The apples should break down into a very soft mixture in this time. Your Hittite applesauce will be done when it looks like this. Before you take it out of the pot, pour about a tablespoon's amount of fresh marjoram into it and mix it up. If you don't have that, you can use some za'atar, like I'm using here. But if you don't have that, then some thyme and oregano will work as a quick substitute. In any case, stir everything together before serving it up. It'll be quite thick and lumpy, so if you're not too enticed by that texture, you can blend all of this together using a blender, a food processor, or even an immersion blender, which I did off camera. Since we have no context for how this was eaten in antiquity, I tried spreading it on some flatbread and eating it that way, and it was actually quite nice. It's completely at odds at what I thought it was going to be like. It's sort of the halfway point between a sweet and savory spread, and would have likely been eaten alongside a meat or another main dish. As delicious as it is, it is unlikely to have been eaten straight from the bowl. The Hittites had laws regarding apple groves and onion harvests. It is probable that this is one dish that they may have served up for their banquets. I hope you all enjoyed this look at the world that was. If you liked what you saw, please consider leaving a like on this video and possibly even subscribing to my channel for some more ancient recipes.